Welcome back, everybody, to the official channel of Homa Games, where Chapter 3, Season 2 has officially come to an end with the Collision Live event ending just a few minutes ago. And with Chapter 3, Season 3 just about to release, I'm going to be hooking up a bunch of people who hit the thumbs up button on this video with the new Seasons Battle Pass. So after you hit it, make sure you leave a comment down below with your epic ID. And this live event was absolutely incredible. We literally got to finally control the Mecha Robot, where we actually got to fly through space and see the Fortnite loop from a distance. After the live event, we got thrown at this screen where it says to be continued. Thankfully, I'm going to reveal everything that you want to know about season three right here in this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We're on the road to 4.3 million and I would love it if you joined us. But I think we've wasted enough time. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Now, the Season 3 trailer ended up leaking, and I'm going to show you guys that. But first, this live event literally revealed so much about Chapter 3 Season 3 that it got me super, super excited for the next season of Fortnite. First off, let me explain exactly what we saw during the live event. And the main thing actually took place right towards the end of the live event, where when the zero point was rising up, we actually saw both Agent Jones as well as the Foundation literally jump into the zero point. And then after that, we saw them get shot out of the zero point where they were literally flying through a sky that didn't look anything like our Fortnite map. That was because they actually jumped into a brand new reality in the Fortnite universe, meaning that we're going to see an absolutely insane amount of map changes on the Chapter 3 Season 3 map. You may have noticed that right before the Foundation and Jones leaped into the zero point, somebody's face actually appeared there, and it was none other than Geno, the true leader of the Imagined Order. Before the event actually started, there was one part where Jones and the Foundation were actually having a little conversation with each other during this conversation the foundation actually revealed that the leader of the imagined order was never dr sloan and the entire time it's actually been jeno so even though we literally saw dr sloan get eliminated from the fortnite universe during this live event in that one scene where the mecha robot was laying on the ground and it looked like he was knocked out of the fight dr sloan was in a tank just about to shoot at us the foundation and agent jones just before she could the paradigm reactivated the mecha robot and used the arm to smash Dr. Sloan's tank over the head, eliminating her from the Fortnite universe for good. Now, this doesn't mean that the Imagined Order is going to be shut down, because as I mentioned, Geno has actually been the leader the entire time. There is still a really good chance that the villainous organization that we're going to be fighting against to save the reality could still be the Imagined Order with Geno as the leader. Geno in the live event didn't look anything like any of the Genos that we had seen before, because if you remember, in Chapter 2 Season 8, we had our very first image of Geno where he looked to be a well-dressed man in a suit with some white and black hair. This leads me to believe that whatever reality that the Foundation and Jones got shot out into in order to find Jenna is actually a kind of messed up reality because we all know how Jenna originally looked and now he looks super duper scary, almost like a mummy. It makes me think that whatever reality they got transported into is much more dangerous and scary than the reality we've been living on for seasons and seasons. Now it's no secret that Darth Vader will indeed be in our next season's battle pass and we we found this out when the battle pass leaked literally over a week ago. During the live event, Darth Vader was once again confirmed as there was one scene where you could literally see Darth Vader alongside Obi-Wan Kenobi in a beautiful lightsaber battle. We all knew that Darth Vader was going to be in the next season of battle pass, but ultimately seeing him during the live event was honestly way cooler than anything we ever could have imagined. And seeing him with his lightsaber also makes me really hopeful that we could finally see the lightsaber pickaxe added into the game. So we know both both Darth Vader and Jeno will likely be a part of the Season 3 Battle Pass. There are obviously a lot more skins that make up a Fortnite Seasons Battle Pass than simply just two skins. Thankfully, all of the Season 3 Battle Pass skins leaked, and the first one you can see on your screen right now, who looks to be a very cool king or something like that. I absolutely love the color scheme on this skin. The second skin in the Season 3 Battle Pass is this one on your screen right now, and this one also looks super, super cool. Ultimately, Ultimately, this doesn't reveal all that much about the brand new season. The third skin, this one was also leaked in the leaked battle pass we got about a week ago, actually being a lovely female skin, rocking a nice little skirt. Moving on to our very next battle pass skin, this one is super awesome. It has a lovely pink 
blue and white color scheme to it. And then finally, right here, we have an image of three of the Battle Pass skins together looking absolutely beautiful. Now, I know none of us want to be sitting here and staring at this to be continued screen forever. Don't worry, because it's not going to be lasting forever. It is rumored that the next season is going to be releasing at 2 a.m. Eastern Time, which at the time I'm recording this video, that is less than 12 hours away, so we won't have to wait all that long. As the Season 3 leaks keep coming out, and they're coming out like crazy, I'm going to be tweeting them all out over my Twitter account, at HomeGamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in Fortnite Season 3.